Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're not new. My name is Michelle, and for today's video, let's go over my Louis Vuitton wish list and see the things that I really liked but just never have bought. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So first up we have the Louise PM earrings and I actually really like these ones too in the GM size or like just the regular size before they came out with a smaller pair. I just really like them because I, I don't know, I, I just am obsessed with the Louis Vuitton logo and I just thought it'd be like really cool to wear them on my ear. Um, but yeah, I just feel like they would be too loud and then also maybe a little bit too heavy. Um, and I don't think I would wear them as much as I would like to. So I'm so happy that they did come out with like the little studs that I'm not wearing today. But yeah, the little studs, I'm so happy with them because I definitely get a lot more use out of them. And the Louise PM earrings, they're $575 and I don't think those would be um, how do I say it? Like, the cost per wear would be as good as the little studs that I have. So, I'm so happy I did not get the Louise BM earrings and instead got the ones that I have now. The Louis Vuitton Iconic Earrings. Next up, we have this one. It's the Porcelain Vase Petite Boy Chapeau. And I just love this little vase. I don't need a vase right now. Um, maybe, like, in the future when we buy a house. But right now, I just really don't need a vase. Um, I think it's really cute, though. And I really like this one compared to like the petite mall um because yeah this one is just so beautiful i love the round um shape the little handle and i think this one would be really nice for like flowers um because yeah this one is super cute and i think even if there's like no flowers in there as well i think this would be a really nice piece to just decorate a space with um so yeah this one i think is really cute and someday i will be owning this vase next up we have this one it's the lv shiba key holder and bag charm this one i am just obsessed with just because i have a shiba inu myself um and yeah when i saw that they had released this one i just had to have it um but when i tried to purchase it on online it didn't allow me to and then when I called client services I also wasn't able to place the order and then I also had my friend place the order um, but a few minutes later they canceled her order so ever since then I just haven't ever tried again and then I also saw that this piece was in stock in a few of the, like, the stores like in Las Vegas and Oregon but I just never hmm I just never like place the order or called to place an order because um, I don't know I just feel like the mink tail is not going to age well i kind of just wish it was just like the shiba without the mink tail i'll put the picture up again right over here um but yeah i don't know and it's also 745 dollars i feel like it's just because of the mink tail that's why it's a little bit more pricey than or compared to like other key charms i miss the one that they released in 2018 i believe for year of the dog and i'm so upset that I didn't get that one because it's so cute. Um, I'll put a picture right over here, but yeah, I don't know. Because I missed that one, I just feel like I need to get this one because um, yeah, I have a Shiba and I love Shiba, so I feel like this key charm is just so me, but yeah, the, the mink tail is kind of throwing me off, so I feel like that's why I also haven't tried a little bit harder to get it. Next up on my list is the key pouch. Um, and this one's in emprunt leather. I'll put a picture right over here. I really just was so happy when Louis Vuitton made a key pouch in the black emprunt leather because that is my second most favorite material from Louis Vuitton aside from like the monogram canvas. And I already have a key pouch in a monogram canvas, but as you guys have seen in my previous videos, it is a very um, used and loved and uh, yeah I definitely need a new one but if I get like a new key pouch I just don't know what I'm going to be doing with my old key pouch when it's still functioning it's just you know it doesn't look as good as it should um but yeah I feel like if I got this one I really would love it but my other key pouch is just still working like it's still usable um there might be some stains on it and like the the shape might be just a little bit deformed but I feel like it's still like usable so that's why I just haven't gotten a new key pouch so yeah this one I think is really cute but I don't think I'll be getting it anytime soon though I do think I'm very deserving of a new key pouch I just I don't know it just doesn't make sense for me to get a new key pouch second to last is the loop bag you guys know that I'm very obsessed with the loop bag I'll put a picture of it right over here and I really just love the one in a monogram canvas 
I really wanted this bag, but I don't know. I just feel like I already have so many monogram bags, but I feel like I could have justified this purchase because it's like a crossbody and shoulder bag. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I already have enough monogram bags that I just didn't want to get this one. And then also with the shape, with this crescent shape, I just feel like it was a trendy bag. So yeah, I don't know. I just felt like maybe it wasn't as classic or timeless as some of the other bags that I have. Um, but yeah, I really love it. I just never ever got it. But if I did decide to like trade in my bum bag, um, I think I would have got the loop bag because all of the bags that kind of were like similar to the bum bag, I just didn't really feel drawn to like the sling bag or like the men's bum bag. I don't know. I just really didn't find myself in love with those. So yeah, if anything, I think I would have traded in my bum bag for the loop bag, but I decided to keep my bum bag and I'm really happy that I did because I, I don't know, I'm just not really a fan of the new bum bag that came out. The last thing on my Louis Vuitton wish list is the keep ball and I have two keep balls actually that are on the list. So I have this one, it's the keep ball bandolier 45 and this one is in the, how do you pronounce it? The monogram Makassar, I think I'm saying that wrong, um, but I really love this one with the monogram and the black leather. I feel like this one would be a really great option because I don't really want the Vachetta, and I really like how this one would be a lot more carefree than the Vachetta. The other keep ball too that I'm obsessed with is the keep ball bandolier 45, and this one's in monogram on prompt leather. I love this one. I love the orange interior that this one also has. Um, but for this one, I just feel like because it's leather, I feel like um, it would be really heavy and I don't feel like that would be very practical just because it is something that you carry like over the shoulder um, or like even in the hand. So I don't know. I just feel like a leather travel bag would not make the most sense just because of the weight. Um, if anything, I feel like the key ball is something that's worth getting in a canvas just because it is going to be lighter and especially with the key ball, just keep in mind like how you carry this bag. So it's not something that you're able to like just roll around or you can put it on top of like your um, rolling luggage but um yeah what if you don't have your rolling luggage and you have to carry it on your shoulder or across your body or like in the hand um yeah i i don't know if it's a very practical bag but i just really love um how this one in monogram on prompt looks because i am such a fan of like black leather and gold hardware so this one is just beautiful and i love the orange interior too um but yeah this one's definitely not as practical or even just like having a Louis Vuitton keep ball I don't feel like is the most practical bag because um, sometimes I do like to leave my luggages in storage um, with like a hotel in case like I have like a later flight and I have to check out. So sometimes I don't feel like it would be safe to leave luggage stored there that would be this expensive um but i do think this would be really great for like a road trip or something like that but yeah i don't know if a keep all would be the most practical piece the other bag that i want to mention is this one from celine it really reminds me of a louis vuitton keep all it's their version of a travel bag and it's also in a monogram canvas i love this one because the zipper goes a little bit down the side so i feel like it would make it a little bit more easy to get in and out of and then also the keep all it only goes across at the top so I feel like yeah that's a little bit more of an advantage for the Celine the Celine one also too it reminds me of like the newer speedies because those zippers go a little bit down on the sides as well I don't know I'm kind of interested in the one from Celine but I do love the classic and iconic piece of like a Louis Vuitton keep ball but I don't know I feel like I wouldn't use a travel bag as much as I would want but I guess I could plan a little bit more trips to kind of get the use out of it um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And yeah, those are all of the items that are on my Louis Vuitton wish list. Let me know what's on yours. What is something that you just really love from Louis Vuitton but just never ever bought? Um, I keep adding things to this list so maybe I'll do another one of these in the future because um, I really just love Louis Vuitton but I just... I'm trying to branch out to like a couple of other brands. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!